Elimination card. Calling first into the cage. He's coming from Kyrgyzstan. Make some noise for Nevat Abrashitov. And we continue the action here at Eagles Fighting Championship 9 in Kishino, Moldova. The Minaj Arena is the place. My name is Daniel Austin, and this will be a lightweight contest at 70.3 kilos. Namath Abrashitov of Kyrgyzstan making his way towards the cage. Abrashitov making his EFC debut, but he has been around the block a number of times in the world of mixed martial arts with a record of eight and six. And he's literally fought all over the world. I mean, everywhere from Tajikistan to Brazil to Ukraine, and now here in Moldova. He's an experienced fighter. He's a very well-traveled fighter, and that's important too, because you know when you live in Kyrgyzstan, basically everywhere is far away. Sometimes you, you know that you don't bring your your coach with you. Sometimes your team doesn't come with you. And he, he's a guy who knows how to fight on the road and fight in different countries. And uh, he's going to go at it here tonight. Made his debut back in May of 2012 at the age of 20. His last fight was a loss in August of 2017. So it's been a while since he stepped into the cage. That was a, a submission loss in four minutes and 57 seconds of the third round. So it just goes to show you, you've got to defend yourself at all times right Ladies to the final bell. And now calling his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Kishino, Nova. Please make some noise for Valeriu Mircea. His opponent also very experienced, in fact, much more so than the Kyrgyzstani fighter. There you see the tail of the tape. Mircea, two years younger, but has a uh, more professional experience. 14 wins, five losses, one draw for the 24-year-old, representing Combat Gym. This is also his Eagles debut, which is a, a little bit strange because you know, uh, uh, most of the Moldovan fighters, if, if you're an MMA fighter, I mean, the odds of you having had a, a, at least one fight in Eagles is astronomical. But uh, Mircea has uh, spent a, a lot of time fighting all over the world as well. Uh, two of his fights were in Bellator. And, uh, you know, he, he has very, very powerful strikes. And uh, as far as on the ground, he has had some big wins by submission and by a number of different submissions. He's submitted people, finished people with guillotines, uh, with ankle locks, with kimuras, with rear naked chokes. He has a lot of weapons at his disposal on the ground and, have, and a lot of power in his strikes. Very, very uh, well-rounded fighter and one of Moldova's top MMA fighters finally stepping in to the EFC cage here at Eagles 9. Step into the ring, Valerio Mircea. Presenting the blue corner, age 26, weighing 70 kilograms, height 1.75 meters, having a personal record of eight wins, six losses. He's fighting for Jaskush Jim. He's coming from Kyrgyzstan, 
Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Nevad Abrasitov. <laughs> Presenting the red corner, agent 24, weighing 70 kilograms, height 1.75 meters, have an impressive record of 14 wins and five losses, one draw. Fighting for Combat Jim Perdone. He's coming from Kisina, Moldova. Make some noise for Valeriu Mircea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lightweight bout under 70.3 kilogram. Five minute three round. Referee in the ring, Denis Bocacillo. Fighters come to the center. You are professional, no rules. Protect yourself and listen to my comments. If you, if you want, touch your boss. Okay, back to your corner. One action here in this lightweight contest. 70.3 kilos. Both guys look in great shape for this one. But it looks to me like Mircea is just the bigger dude. Nice low kick though on the outside. Tags the lead left leg. As I said, there is some serious power in the hands of Mircea in the black. Straight left that time by Abrashitov. Yeah, and he warning him with that red hand, or that right hand. There's that kick again. The lead left leg on the outside. These two ready to mix it up. The crowd's very appreciative of the skills of these two gentlemen. This is a very smart, educated fight crowd here in Kishino. They love their fighting here. They pack this place to the gills. Well, looked to me like Abrashidov was kind of telling him, like, hey, let's, let's take a little time out here. Well, I got bad news for you. There's no timeouts here in MMA. Gachia. Not backing up a bit. He may have caught an eye poke. That may be the only thing I could think of is like, you know, maybe, maybe poked him in the eye. Maybe there was a low blow that I was unaware of, but there was something that Avrashitov felt was deserving of a timeout. The right leg of Mircea hooked behind the right leg of the Kyrgyzstani fighter as he continues to work from behind here. Avrashitov has got the arms wrapped up and now he frees one of them he wraps it right around his esophagus trying to choke the life out of him you can see a well Avrashitov was fighting for his life there he managed to turn himself around nice throw there as he took him down to the ground Ooh, short little elbow those can do a serious amount of damage Abrashitov striking from above. Left forearm. Oh, he tagged him in the kidney and then immediately went to the head. Chia not in any hurry to kind of get out from underneath. Try to do something about those blows. He's just trying to stay close to the body. Limit the striking. Now he's sitting in a sitting position. On his side now. Got the right arm under the leg of his opponent. Trying to get out of this predicament here. Hasn't been able to contain the left hand yet, though, of the Kyrgyzstani. Oh, solid shot. You can hear the leather due to the quietness of the crowd here just bouncing off the walls of the Menage Arena. Another solid shot to the body. Whoa! 
and I think he may have opened him up there. He's been looking for the Achilles lock, but he couldn't quite get it. Both men up to a vertical base, and just like that, right back down, Leryu Mircea forcing things again to the canvas. Where is the blood coming from? Is that, he may have opened up like the cauliflower ear, perhaps, of Mircea. Oh, nice shot there. He just brought the uppercut right into the mouth. Spoon fed that small little glove right into the mouth. He's trying to set him up for a, a throw, but a lot of. Wow, look at that. Look at the arm of Mircea and how much pressure he's putting around the neck of the fighter from Kyrgyzstan. He's really sinking that thing in. Whoa, look out. Look out. He's got to get his head out of there. He's fighting for everything he's worth. Can he get out or no? That thing is in there deep. Abrashidov is hanging on here. He's hanging on. Look at that cut. I thought it was maybe the ear that got sliced open. That is a clean cut right under the left eye, right on the orbital bone, going around the eye. Take a look at this action from round number one. Saw some short, powerful, effective striking to the midsection like that from Abrashidov throughout the round. And then Mircea really, really came close to securing that guillotine choke towards the end of the round. The only thing that may have even saved Abrashidov at that point was the horn. girls letting us know it is round two coming up i believe they even do have their own page maybe on facebook and instagram so check them out the fia girls here we go back to war for these two that is a nasty nasty cut there on the left side of the face that thing is going to start pouring blood sooner rather than later Nine, five. Round two. back to action here Namat Abrashitov of Kyrgyzstan, a fighting country, if there ever up was one. Remember, I did an interview with Valentina Shevchenko one time on the Fightbox podcast, and she told me, being from Kyrgyzstan herself, that when there's a fight, the whole town comes. That's what they like to watch in Kyrgyzstan is fighting. They don't care about football. They don't care about basketball or wings or anything else, they love to fight. And that's exactly what Namat Abrashidov likes to do. Valeriu Mircea of Moldova in the black. Nice, solid shot there that buckled the leg there of Mircea. Abrashidov striking the leg again. Mircea. Winging wildly with the right hand. A lot of smoke behind that one. You can see the under the left eye swelling up like a golf ball. And the referee, I don't know if he's going to have a look at the eye or if he's going to warn him about something. Well, he let him know about something. Abrashidov, not sure what it was, but... Sometimes when you're in the heat of battle, even if you're on the receiving end of something, you're not even sure what it was. By the way, he got caught right in the chin with a shot that time and came firing back with a big right hand. Low kicks, man, there have been some 
chopping low kicks between both of these gentlemen. Abrashidov goes downstairs. Shots going in now from both guys as the blood starts to clot around the inside of the cut. Abrashidov throwing a shot. Action seems to have settled down into a striking contest here. Both guys firing at each other. Letting the cannons fly. More than half the time expired already in round number two. As Mircea moving in on his opponent. Abrashdov moves to his right. Back to his left now. Overhand right caught him in the temple. The side of the skull responds with the left hand. Mircea throwing the heavy leather in there. Combination shot there from Abrashidov. Now the current lightweight champion is Grigory Panfili at 70 kilos, so I'm sure he's watching this one very closely. He's not on the card here tonight, but I'm sure he's well aware of what's going on here in the lightweight division. And I think that both of them. Oh! There's your winner, Vladimir Mircea, definitively ending this contest with a vicious knockout with that elbow strike. One of the most brutal we have seen here in Eagles Fighting Championships. <laughs>